It just blows your mind how beautiful this place is. Gets the heart going and uh, the fingernails clenching. Adventure in an ancient land. Scary, but good, great. Beautiful country down here, it's magic. From the air, the very existence of this place is surprising. A seemingly endless stretch of spinifex and red dirt gives way to cliffs carved into the land by winding waterways billions of years ago. Nature at its most magnificent. So much plain country out there and then you get to something like this, it's just, how does it happen? Yeah, it's magic. We're 1,400 kilometres north of Perth, in the heart of the Pilbara, Karajini National Park. The easiest way to, to, to describe it is otherworldly. Mountains and valleys, swimming holes and waterfalls, a place demanding to be explored. I think that's the whole um, adrenaline rush of it, you know. Like, it's not something you do every day. For the thrill seekers, there's no going past the West Oz Adventure Tour. Some of the most attractive parts of the park are not seeable until you've come on our tours. It's the only local company allowed to take people into the park's restricted areas. Final safety checks done, we're all kitted up, ready to head into the restricted section of Karajini National Park. Restricted because without the right gear and guidance, it can be a dangerous place. Out here, any accident would mean a difficult rescue mission. We took part in 14 multi-agency rescues of the general public last year. Some of those took upwards of 12 hours to carry people out in stretches. Rescues were even more difficult before some park access was restricted. The turning point when SES volunteer James Regan was killed in the middle of a rescue as a flash flood swept through Hancock Gorge. Survivors say the water went from ankle deep to three metres in a minute. It led to the introduction of Class 6. It's reduced the overall rescues and the requirements for rescues in, in those areas. For our guides, this is a dream job, but one they take very seriously. Probably the most highly skilled guides on this side of the country. The tour is called Journey to the Centre of the Earth. It'll take us through to the bottom of Hancock Gorge. We use the roping and the climbing and the abseiling and the waterfalls for them to discover something about themselves. We clip onto the ropes almost as soon as we're into class six. Staying low, we cross a rocky ledge one person at a time. It's not for the faint-hearted. I guess you've just got to put your trust in the ropes and in the tour guides. I mean, you know, apparently a 79-year-old man did this to us, so I thought, you know, Siobhan, you can suck it up a little bit. Then there's the abseil down an almost vertical rock wall down into Regan's pool. Get down there where the, uh, the awesomeness is. From there, it's a mind-blowing trek through ancient rock formations and emerald green pools. Then another abseil, this time down a 45 degree waterfall known as the chute. Happy I got through it unscathed. Finally, we arrive. Welcome to the centre of the earth. Uh, home to the oldest naturally exposed rock formation anywhere in the world. Billions of years, it's hard to fathom, isn't it? We're in the deepest part of the Karajini Gorge system, more than 100 metres deep. Simply spectacular. It's just incredible. But it's not for everyone. Luckily, some of Karajini's most beautiful gorges are also some of the easiest to reach. This is uh, Fortescue Falls, very popular with the tourists that come to the Karajini National Park. A beautiful water that runs all year round, fabulous swimming and very easy access. From there, it's a short walk to another hot spot. We finish up here at Fern Pool for a swim in the afternoon and uh, people thoroughly enjoy the day. Fernpool is like this all year round and the way the sun hits that waterfall as it comes in makes it quite a lot warmer than a lot of the other gorges we've been in and as you can see, just beautiful. For Lestock tour guide Trevor Van Eed, tourists' reactions are the highlight. First look out, we look out there, I'm just awestruck by the beauty of the place. Whether it's a stroll to Fernpool or a sweaty palmed abseil down a three billion year old cliff, it's an experience like no other. And I can't wipe the grin off my face, so it's been pretty epic. I honestly think it's just about the discovery. Discover something about the world. Discover something about yourself. Yeah.